Step three is to edit your object's properties. There are two key components to your app, properties which define how things look and scripts which define how they act. So for instance, if you think about a stop sign, how would you describe it? You might say the color is red, the shape is octagon, the text says stop, the text color is white. These are properties that define that object. When you first drag an object onto your page in WAM, you'll see a placeholder object that has some default properties. You can edit these properties to change the way your object looks. To edit any object's properties, simply tap on the object to open the object editor. You'll see a new box appear. This box contains all of the properties for that object's type. In WAM, there are three properties that are common to all objects, so we'll explore these properties first. These properties are name, position and size, and angle. If you tap next to any property, you can edit it. For instance, if we tap next to name, we can give our object a name. Naming things is important because this is how you'll refer to them later on. There are two different ways to change the position and size of an object in WAM. The first we looked at in the previous video, which is to tap and hold the object to move it around on the page, or tap on a corner or edge and drag to resize. You can also edit the position and size of an object by tapping next to the position and size property in the property editor. This will open a new box where you can use each of the sliders to change the position of the object in the x-axis, which moves it across the page horizontally. You can move the slider for the y-axis, which will move the object up and down on the page vertically. Or you can change how wide your object is with the third slider for width. You can change the height of the object by changing the fourth slider, which is height. You'll see a preview of how your object will appear within this box. If you're happy with its position and size on the page, click Save. The third property that's common to all objects in WAM is the angle of the object. This changes the way that your object is rotated on the page. Tap next to Angle in the Property Editor and you can drag the red line around the circle to change the rotation of your object. Some objects have unique properties as well. For instance, for an image object, we need to tell the program what image we want to use. You can tap next to Image in the Property Editor. You can choose any image from our app library or add your own photos and media. Now let's look at a button. We'll add a button to our page and edit its properties. As with images, you can edit a button's name, position, and size, and angle. With a button, you can also add a title. This is distinct from the name. This is the text that will appear within the button. Note that you can hide the navigation palette at any time by clicking the X in the upper right corner. This way you can view the full screen. To bring the palette back, simply tap the palette icon in the upper right corner next to Run App. Thank you.